My name is Sam Baknin and I am a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today we are going to discuss the Western Balkans as a looming threat to global peace. <laughs> the recently declassified 2024 Annual Threat Assessment of the US intelligence community had this to say about the Western Balkans. The Western Balkans probably will face an increased risk of localized inter-ethnic violence during 2024. Nationalist leaders are likely to exacerbate tension for their political advantage, and outside actors will reinforce and exploit ethnic differences in order to increase and protect their regional influence or thwart greater Balkan integration into the EU or Euro-Atlantic institutions. Clashes between Serb nationalists and Kosovar authorities have led to deaths and injuries, including injuries in, uh, to NATO peacekeepers in 2023. Bosnian Serb leader Milora Dodik is taking pro provocative steps to neutralize international oversight in Bosnia and secure de facto secession for his Republika Srpska. His action could prompt leaders of the Bosniak, Bosnian Muslim population to bolster their own capacity to protect their interests and possibly lead to violent conflicts that could overwhelm uh, peacekeeping forces. First, to make clear, the annual assessments enjoy a poor reputation among intelligence pros the world over. They are considered as little more than glorified compilations of press cuttings. The authors of the threat assessments tend to be mindlessly, uh, tend to be mid-level and mindlessly extrapolate current events linearly into the future. Consequently, they rarely get the predictions right. Okay, the only two specific prognostications in the current edition are similarly dubious at best. In Kosovo, a far likelier long-term outcome is the ethnic cleansing of the indigenous Serbs by the Korti government of Kosovo, with a wink and nod from the anti-Vucic, anti-Russian Western powers. Sporadic skirmishes with Serb paramilitaries aside, Kosovo is inexorably turning into an ethnically homogenous, widely diplomatically recognized state, firmly aligned with the West in its proxy wars with Russia. The Serbia and the Serbs, as usual, are on the wrong side of history. As for Dodik, he is the rule, not the exception. The Croats in Bosnia and Herzegovina threatened to secede in uh, 2022. Such brinkmanship is aimed at extracting concessions from the EU and from the other constituents of this artificial polity. It is not an actual political platform, it is a poker bluff. <laughs> what is needed is a synoptic bird's eye view. Tensions abound in all the geopolitical fault lines. Taiwan, Israel, Ukraine, the Balkans, South and Central America and so on. The accelerating decline of the United States of America has created a yawning power gap and regional actors such as China, Russia and Iran are rushing in to fulfill the vacancy. New alliances are superimposed on historical enmities. It is a period of tumultuous global transition. The Western Balkans is no exception. 